Okay. Big shout out to everybody that's tuned into the this right here is the midday mashup right now on nonfiction radio home of the full throttle programmers. You can most definitely catch all the full throttle programming uh, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. Or you can also stay keep it locked with the radio regular stations um, Friday through Sunday. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm the first one, right? I think I'm first, first, and then uh, all the other ones. I, I gotta figure out all that that whole list. But um, we got a special guest in the building. Special guest, as I would like to say. Uh, I'm getting extra stuff emailed to me. All right, I got mad stuff in front of me right now, but it's cool. It's cool. All right, special guest in the building. From all the way from, well, I think one stays in New York. <laughs> other one still stays in Jersey. <laughs> it's, it's always a pleasure to be in the presence of uh, this lovely person. Writer, director, um, you, what else do you do? Like producer, you, producer, uh, editor, um, yeah, all of that other stuff. And my favorite, the actor <laughs> and producer, <laughs> and producer, <laughs> yes, yes, Roger. Um, Omius, 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 you're, yes. you're Haitian, yeah, that's correct, yes, Omius, yes, and <sighs> yes, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Ray Martel Moore, right? Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. That's how you say it. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. I, I'm over here breaking a sweat right now from being in this room. Nah, you all good. You all good. Is, this is always, oh, man. Like, I watched, like, many episodes just to, a part of me just to, like, really... Yeah. Catch your life. Catch your life. <laughs> Catch your life. Yeah. Come on. But okay, so tell me like like right now you're on season two. Yes. Season two will find me. Um like so far, like what are we looking at? What do we expect? Uh this season is a character stripping season. So you're getting to see a lot of the layers of the characters. Whereas season one was an introduction. We had a big uh cliffhanger with the uh, season one season finale which was called turning point so there was a lot of stuff that happened in that so we pick up season two two hours later from that big climactic conclusion and we carry on with that and the story has just gotten deeper and it's, it's just gotten more rich there's a lot of funny moments but you're just really getting to see the layers of each of the characters okay okay and and ray i'll uh, I needed to ask this question. Uh -huh. how, yeah. how difficult is it being the straight guy? I mean, it's not difficult at all, really. I so mean, you, you, <laughs> it's not difficult. So I mean, I, I mean, you kiss a lot of people being the straight guy. Yeah, I mean, okay, it, it does have its ups and downs, but the ups are higher than the downs. I mean, um, I love playing Fabian. I love um, what Fabian. he's about. Um, he's, he's, he's really, he's, he's me, but just without the, you know, the, the gay symbol on it, I guess you could say. Um, he's a person, he's a human being trying to find himself. Um, and then for me particularly, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's great, you know, to, to be able to touch other people's lives and be able to play somebody else that, that uh, underrepresented community who doesn't. Feel that sometimes feels voiceless. I can be the voice for. So you never had an uncomfortable moment ever. Oh no, I've had yes, yes. I've what, had. what was your most uncomfortable moment? Um, my most uncomfortable moment would have to be ah. Uh, because you've been naked a lot of times with a lot of guys. That's never uncomfortable. That's actually real easy for me. Wow. Well, <laughs> it is. Oh, it is. This is very easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, probably the most uncomfortable is just like uh, like sometimes when we go to like live events and um, people are you know they automatically assume that I am gay, so then they you know they kind of think that they can hit on me or that they can talk to me a certain way, and then you know then once I tell them who I am, then the respect comes and everything's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So so it's, it's pretty much comes easy to just you know. Actors and guys. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, it's, it's a responsibility. Like once I said that I was an actor, it was it was a responsibility for me to say, "Hey, let me present the truth to who this character is." And it's not about sexuality; it's about the heart of the character. So when I kiss another guy, it's more of 
it's not me thinking about me being myself. It's really me being who this character is. This character kisses guys. All right, then that's what I'm going to have to do. I totally eliminate who Ray Martell is. And when I'm on set, I am Baby and Allen. That's nice. So, <laughs> so when writing, like, when casting for um, Fabian, like, did you have any, like, input, like if any other people that you had in mind before? Oh, yes. Actually, Ray came in. There was a, a, a person who was cast to play Fabian before Ray. Oh. And he had to bow out. So we had another audition. And so when Ray came in, Ray physically did not look like Fabian, the Fabian I had in my mind. In my mind, Fabian was brown skin. Fabian, uh, other than the skin complexion, Ray did not look like the character. Thank you but when he guys. read the role, he just wowed me. I felt like all these butterflies in my stomach saying, this is Fabian. The innocence, the, the vulnerability, the na na uh, naiveness, that was all Fabian and Ray, Ray. Once he did that, he wanted to be over. So also when writing, um, when writing the whole series and um, even the movies, like, did you base it off like your relationships and like you growing up and everything else? Because no, I think the whole story was very fiction. Um, some instances are little things that I picked up from my life, but the, the whole story, no. I don't know a Greg. I, I do kind of know a Greg, but I've made him up. You know, I made a mirror up. I made all these people. But I, I grabbed them from people that I know. So, like, the Amira character, I loosely based off of a friend of mine. The Lonnie character, who everyone loves as Bacon's first love interest from the first two movies. I knew someone kind of like that, and then I just... So are you still in a relationship as of right now? No. Oh, like, okay. cause it, like the last time we saw each other was probably a couple of years ago. Uh -huh. Um, but the last time we saw you did have someone in your life. I have. I can't really answer that. It's a very gray area. I I, I don't know. Good. I don't know. <laughs> it's very gray. There's someone in my life, but we're not together right now. Okay. But, no. okay. You know. To my future husband. Um, <laughs> 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 so is any okay with you yeah. you're not native born I well I, I'm a military brat so I'm from um, Germany uh, Frankfurt Germany and then Tampa Florida those are the places I've been the most you speak any other language Sprechersee 9 would mean that I don't speak German um, but uh, but I do understand a little bit of it. Yeah. that's hot <laughs> anybody in your life that speaks no no talking about like relationship wise oh or... um uh not i mean there's an interest of a, of a friendship they turn don't, they don't find it difficult with you actually having to do what you do you right know now. surprisingly no uh most most of the girls um totally understand who i am they probably think it's hot and, <laughs> and maybe not maybe <laughs> they never said to me that they think it's hot um, I've had I've had instances of of situations where uh, like in, like in either be the beginning of a dating relationship where they're just like testing me out like hey you know is this is this real and then once they be like oh, okay yeah you're, you're straight okay I get it uh, <laughs> so if I, personally speaking even coming from me so like if I wanted to kiss you I could kiss you no. Why? It wouldn't work that way. Why not? It wouldn't work that way. Because you ain't seen with it. You ain't acting with it. Yeah. It would, it would, it would, it would, I could write something wrong. Right. I could write something Yeah, they could like, really do this. Nah, see, it would have to, like, it would literally have to be, like, literally for me, it's for Fabian story. So you would have to get Roger here to somehow write you into the story. And then me as a producer, I would have to then approve the story. We're going to have something like that to happen. <laughs> I mean, I just, I mean, it's just a fantasy of mine. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, I really appreciate your honesty. I do. I do appreciate your honesty as well. It's, it's you great. ain't going to get nothing less of my honesty <laughs> on this situation because like, uh, that's just how I feel. Cool, cool. It, it makes me, it turns me on. Gotcha. Yeah. Every, it, you know what's turning me on right now? The smell of that chicken from Home <laughs> Boy playing in the background. Yeah. I, I, I'm getting used to it. I mean... <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm trying, trying to ignore it, but... <laughs> but, when we, um, but when we come back, we're most definitely going to talk more about... Um, get the um, 
more, more about what you got coming up next and everything else and try to see where your life is going and try to pick some more out of you. Cool. So um, if you want to get, if you want to call us up, 973-536-1165 or you can Instagram me on uh, Mikhail's World. Also hit me up on Twitter at Mikhail's World. If you got any questions for these two, um, hit me up. Make sure you call us up, 973-536-1165. It's the midday matchup right here on Nonfiction Radio. Yay.